What's up guys? Finally finished up another project I had going here. The uh, Honda oil filter Bluetooth radio. So initially, you'll see it's got an amp box on the bottom. Initially, everything in this box, I thought I was gonna be able to fit inside the filter housings, but then I was very, very wrong. Cause these are Dayton Audio, two and a half in the bottom, three in the top, and the magnet on the three damn near goes to the end of the filter. And the two is not much better. So there's really no room at all. See the back I got, I got the subwoofer vented, a little charge port in the back. On off switch. Uh, I think this is volume for these two, and this is sub volume, and this is a master volume. Oop, if I would focus for these two, sub, and then the master. I'm bad at this focusing stuff. Anyway, do you remember last video? I did the ammo can. I think I'm done with that. Still not really sure what I'm going to do with it yet. Not sure what I'm going to do with this. They're quite a pain in the ass. They're kind of expensive um, to build. I don't know if I'm going to sell them, keep them, what I'm going to do. Uh, this one is powered by 60 watt Bluetooth amplifier, which is pretty cool. It's a 2.1, so it's got a, its own dedicated sub channel. And it's running off of actually a focus. A generic Milwaukee battery. I went with the 3000 milliamp or 3 amp battery. And these are what they look like when you break them apart. So obviously that's not going to fit in there. But you break it apart and you make it fit. So I've got two more for future projects. Because these are these are only two for like 22 bucks. That's pretty cheap. So I mean you're you've got your batteries for like eleven dollars. I mean, just one speaker costs more than that, sadly. Um, I don't think that's it. It's, uh, let's hear. <laughs> I've been beating on this thing for probably an hour and a half, two hours now. And I checked the voltage and it is still at 12 volts, 12 volt battery. Which is funny because if you actually read these, they're only 3.7 volts, but if you measure them, they're actually 4.2, which is how you get your 12, it's like 12.5 is kind of what, if you measure one of these, what it comes out to. So. I don't know. I'm pretty impressed. I don't know what the runtime is going to be on it, but we'll see. Pretty impressed by these. They kind of slap. Um, if you have any other suggestions, I'm kind of running out of orifices to put these speaker things into. If you can figure something out, let me know. Thank you.